All right. Hey there, folks. Now, let me just say, I, I apologize for, you know, two videos in one night. It might be a little bit much, but hey, we have a lot to talk about. Let's take a look at the newest banner and your introduction to book four. And I'm already really enjoying the new setup. This is actually a lot better than what you had previously, so... I am the daughter of Avel. Kudos there. Sophiana. The enemy doesn't stand a chance. Okay, she sounds a lot better not possessed, let me just say, and I'm really happy to see that she does. Oh, God, okay. Marita, you came in like a wrecking ball last time. Let's see how well you handle this rendition, your actual self. Marita's sword gives her a special trigger cooldown. No surprises there, that's pretty much common. If unit is not adjacent to any ally, uh, or to an ally, grants attack speed, defense, res plus four, and neutralizes effect that guarantees foes follow-up attacks, and that prevents units follow-up attacks during combat. So, it's a null skill built into that sword, just to add in a little bit more, and also, she happens to get a lot of stats going on. A lot of them. I'm just looking over this kit, and I... <laughs> I'm sorry, did you just, did you just power creep, hit and run? Are, are you kidding me right now? Okay, well, let me just, let's go over the rest of the kit. Luna, sure, okay. Attack speed solo, just to add in a little bit more, mm, just to throw her out there and, you know, by herself, she's going to get even more stats just by being by her lonesome, which she already has it built into her sword. Okay. But we also have close call, which... If unit speed is greater than foe speed, reduces damage from attacks during combat and from area of effect specials, excluding Roker area of effect specials, by percentage equal difference between stats times four, max of 40%. I am not here to do math for you. I am not here to think about this. This is too much. <laughs> I can't do this all in my head. Oh, also, if unit initiates combat, unit moves one space away after combat. Cool. So we have a defensive B skill here in some ways that will reduce damage based on what I'm assuming is even more speed. And yeah, that is a massively buffed up version of hit and run. And I do like hit and run on my cav units and my flying units. So I guess this will be a pretty nice addition. <laughs> and it's certainly something that is actually quite terrifying. Uh, poor hit and run though. I mean, can we have a moment just a moment of silence for that poor hit and run. All right, let's move on to Rouse Attack and Defense 3, which, guess what? If she's by herself, she gets more attack and defense. Surprise, I know. It's really quite something, isn't it? All right, well, oh, goodness gracious me. Defending those in need. She does not look like she needs Luna at all, but then again, she's going up, a green unit, up against the green unit. The emptiness of my past still troubles me. Perhaps someday I'll be able to just let go. Okay, I wanted to see what her sword actually did, and... <laughs> okay, well, we have a guard sword plus. Which means it's inheritable, and guess what it does? It has guard in its, in its name and in its effects, so therefore a guard effect. Meaning that it will inflict special cooldown charged minus one on foe per attack during combat. Cool. Hack a lantern says what? But uh, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty nifty weapon to have on a lot of sword units. It's gonna be a lot, of, <laughs> a lot more troublesome than I think it can be. Ignis, of course, just to add in some more, and then attack and defense form three, which grants attack and defense plus X to unit during combat. X equals two times number of allies within two spaces plus one for a max of seven. So being around allies is. Quite nice, you know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, this unit so far, I'm I'm kind of hoping she actually demotes. I mean, I we we thought it was going to be Tanya, but it looks like it might actually be her. So I'm okay with that. We have chill attack in her B skill slot. So all in all, a nice nice uh, new addition in the form of her sword, and should be pretty pricey, at least, uh, pretty nice to have on certain sword units that might be a little bit more defensive. Just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> Atone for your crimes! Oh my god, 70s. Jesus. Alright, let's take a look. I'll hack all our foes to bits. You watch. I love his art. I just like his smile. Oh my god, he has Vogue as his weapon? 
Madonna's gonna have a real bad time right now. So, alright. Accelerate special trigger cooldown. Uh -huh. At the start of combat, if a unit's HP is greater than or equal to 50%, unit can counter your attack regardless of foe's range. Which just tells me that this is going to be an absolute monster in some ways. It's a little bit more special, you know, specialty based when it comes to his weapon, but it's nice to have a, you know, actual distant counter weapon with the special cooldown trigger on it. I'm, I'm pretty sure the only one who, you know, has the other kind of specialty uh, distant counter, at least when it comes to refines, is uh, what? Saber? But uh, it's been a while since I've actually looked at distant counter weapons, honestly. So I might be a little bit mixed there still. Let's take a look at the rest of what we got here. Noontime, built in there just to get him a little bit more HP because, well, his weapon works on that. Also has Mirror Stance 3, which means that he's going to have attack and res plus 6 during combat. And that's, of course, if foe, you know, initiates combat. And inflicts, of course, a guard-like effect on foe per attack. So therefore, also going to have a more of a defensive wall here. Definitely a good advantage here. Built in with his weapon, that's quite insane. Then we have Wrath. Little bit of an odd choice there. But, I can see how this can work. 75%, it's a lot like Astrum in that regard. It's like, his weapon works the same sort of way. You know, you need to have his HP above a certain threshold or else it doesn't activate. But then we have Wrath, which needs to be below a certain threshold. So if you actually get within that certain threshold where both of them align, it's just magic. It's going to be amazing. Then, of course, we also have even Attack Wave 3, which was just... Do we really need that? It's just gonna throw in more, even more there. God damn it. All right, well... Messed with the wrong guy. I love it. I love it. All right. A new mythic be hero. Biro? <laughs> hero choice the battle. Ah. Oh my god. When mortal children grow up... They forget all about us. Well, that is just very depressing. Thank you, Flower Girl, who is actually named after a flower, by the way. All right, so Flower of Joy is Peony's weapon, and that grants plus three res, but it also grants attack and speed plus three to any ally in a cardinal direction from unit during that special during that ally's um, combat. So, huh? From unit during that ally's combat. Okay could be pretty nice. That, that took me a second to actually reread and, like, what? Uh, alright. That's, that's quite, it seems that cardinal directions are going to be a thing here, but anyways, let's move on to her special command skill that, of course, is Gentle Dream. Grants another action to target ally. I mean, grants attack, speed, defense, and res plus three, and the following status to target ally and allies in cardinal directions of unit and target. So, therefore, you remember if you actually saw that in the uh, Fae channel? You'll notice that all the characters were positioned not only around her, but also, of course, around Alphonse, who she was using it on, and that gave, you know, a, it just, you know, these special abilities that came with it. So therefore, yeah, unit can move to a space adjacent to any ally within two spaces. That turn only cannot, of course, be, you know, cannot target an ally with sing or dance. The skill is treated as sing or dance. What a surprise. So therefore, we are going to have a lot of teleportation around here. That's only slightly terrifying, but as a reminder, this unit is going to be free. So you don't have to worry too, too much there. She also has aerobatics, which just means that she's going to have a lot more wiggle room to move around, as long as there's infantry, armory, <laughs> armory? armored or cavalier allies within two spaces. Cool. And then, of course, fortify res 4, which... Okay... That's something, I guess. Sure, we'll take it. And at the start of turn, grants res plus seven to adjacent allies for one turn. There you guys go. That is going to be your next free unit. And all in all, she seems to be a pretty fantastic unit. She also has a built-in ability to just give her a boosted BST in case she needs to go into combat, at least in arena and all that fun stuff. So, yay. Uh, I'm not too happy about the A skill, but, you know, oh well. Still... All in all, pretty fantastic free unit that we're going to be getting, and it's going to be a lot of fun to see how people handle this now that we have our darling peony. Okay. Okay, that animation's freaking awesome. Ready. And there, of course, is actually that. You can see that they already have their buffs, their abilities, and everything. So therefore... She's just going to be all about cardinal directions and being around them. 
Not bad at all. A pretty stellar banner, but a pretty stellar uh, free-to-play unit there for you. And of course, we're also going to have Tanya as the next free unit. Well, not next free unit, next three to four star unit. Uh, but we also have to talk about the fact that there is going to be another GHB unit included in here. I don't know if they actually showed it in the images here. Nope, he's not there, but Kempf, I believe I'm saying that correctly, from Thracia, is also going to be your next GHB unit. And by the looks of it, he has his own preferential weapon as well. So therefore, a lot of good things coming out of this uh, Faye channel, at least when it comes to free-to-play. And hopefully, you guys can make some good usage out of them. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to head out for now. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to leave a like. And if you want to watch some more, I would highly suggest watching the ripoff video that we recently did there. Uh, it was a lot of fun making it. And uh, go check that out. We'll be back soon for more. Thanks for watching, guys.